Hey guys, welcome back to Phil Plays. I'm Phil, and I'm so glad this is actually happening. Um, Kotaku, I'm not a, I don't really support Kotaku, or usually read Kotaku at all, but I saw this pop up on Facebook, and I love it. Kingdom Hearts fans say the Switch Cloud ports suck. I made a video on this, um, week or two, probably two weeks ago. And about how uh, Square Enix was releasing the Kingdom Hearts games for the Nintendo Switch, but only releasing them in cloud ports, which makes absolutely no sense. Uh, most of these games were on PS2, maybe PS3. Um, well, no, all of them were on PS2, DS, uh, PSP, and then remastered to the P PS3, PS4, and whatnot. Um, but there's no reason why they weren't, they couldn't have been natively ported to the Switch. The only reason they weren't is because Square Enix was lazy and greedy. But of course everyone was like, oh no, if it if they did native ports, they would have to take a lot longer time. The Switch has been out for about five years, almost five years at this point. They had plenty of time. And a lot of these games, I don't feel like it would take that long. This is a, this is a greedy move and a lazy move. The only one I could say, the only two games, honestly, I could say, that would probably have issues playing on the Switch would be 2.8 and Kingdom Hearts 3, which I get. If those had to be st cloud streamed, that would suck, but I could understand it more than the others, which are all PS2, PSP, and DS games. Um, but yeah, let's take a look here. Uh, look, look, Square, you went piss goofy off. Yeah, that's everybody right now. Um, everybody that's been playing these. Uh, and I loved reading these articles and all the different comments I saw on Facebook from uh, advertisements of the Kingdom Hearts games on Switch. Every single one of them that I read, I kid you not, maybe 99% of the comments I saw were people shitting on this game. And just shitting on the cloud ports. Everyone was, everything was along the same thing. Like, everyone was saying the same thing, that these are bad. Cloud ports were the worst way to do this. Um, the game does not play well on uh, uh, via cloud. Um, but they write here, the complete Kingdom Hearts series, if such a thing even exists, hit the Nintendo Switch on February, uh, February 10th, though not in an official capacity. The version that's available on the console handheld hybrid is a cloud port, meaning you stream it from Square Enix's RPG over the... Sorry, I can't read today, apparently. Um, meaning you stream Square Enix's RPG over the internet. Such ports are becoming increasingly common for the Switch thanks to its hardware limitations, which, fair, the Switch is not the strongest console, but it can sure as hell play PS2 games, like quality games like that. But, as you might have guessed, this one isn't good. It's not good, in fact. That f It's so not good, in fact, that fans all over the internet are begging, no, imploring, that you do not buy the Kingdom Hearts games on Switch. Which is completely what I said in my video. Um, they initially uh, announced they were going to be releasing these games in October. And I, when I first saw that, I was super excited. I bought all the... Uh, the Kingdom Hearts games repeatedly on the PS2, uh, PS3, PS4. I love these games. I really didn't like 3, but I liked majority of these games. And I was super excited to play 1 and 2 um, and Birth by Sleep on uh, the Switch. And then I read that they were just cloud versions, which... Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, and the worst part is... Not only were these games released on cloud, and so they can't be streamed, they can't be played very well because it all depends on your internet connection. And if you've got bad internet, the game's gonna lag, it's gonna glitch, it's gonna crash, like it's not good. Um, so you can't play these games um, on the go. Like if you're flying on a plane, um, on a trip, in a car, um, you, you can't. And the worst part is, these they're overpricing these games too. Cloud versions, games you do not own. You have to stream it. They're wanting $90 for the complete collection. You can go to any retail store and buy the complete collection on PS4 or Xbox One for $40.
Square Enix is completely smelling their own farts right now because this is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm so glad people are seeing that. Um, let's see here. That's been the sentiment ever since previews dropped in January, and now that Kingdom Hearts series is out, fans across the internet agree that the cloud versions aren't the way you should experience these iconic, this iconic series. Twitter is lit ablaze with various complaints about the cloud versions of the Kingdom Hearts series. Some folks are blunt, straight up telling you not to buy the games on Switch. I am one of them. The others are sharing hilarious videos of the game, which makes it look like a, not, a stop motion AMV than a playable game. Even loyal Kingdom Hearts fans uh, like HMK, who spoke to Kotaku in October about Sora joining the Smash Bros. Ultimate, that is super cool that he was actually in Smash, and that was a great um, kind of telling that we were going to get uh, Kingdom Hearts on the Switch. Um, let's see here. WHAT HAPPENED?! WHAT HAPPENED?! Yeah, that's about right. It glitched out where he literally got taken out in the glitch. The game runs like garbage. Um, it appears choppy and laggy, and players have reported tons of latency issues. But what's worse than a barely playable game? One that isn't playable at all. Uh, some users have shared stories of startup problems with all three Kingdom Hearts games apparently crashing after the title screen. Um, and then this goes into the next part here is that it might be tempting to pick up the Kingdom Hearts series on Switch, particularly if you want to travel with Sora in your pocket. That's the whole point of having the Switch and getting games on the Switch is for you can travel. It's, it's portability. That's the big selling point. Um, it's just yeah, $90 for inferior versions of all the games. And we got some comments on here. Why is the Switch version on the cloud? Why can't they just port them? Aren't they PS2 games? Blame the PS3 cell process. Also blame, also blame poor game preservation. Um, a lot of people are trying to make excuses, saying that they lost the original coding for the game, so they had to recreate them for the PS3, and because the PS3 is so complicated to uh, produce games for, they just couldn't move them over to a cartridge. I'm not a game designer, but there were, I, I, I just don't believe that. Um, if they really wanted to put in the effort, they could have, but they didn't. They chose to take the easy way and the lazy way out. So please, for the love of God, do not buy Kingdom Hearts for the Nintendo Switch. I know it is tempting, but it's not worth it. If you have other means to play these games, like a PS4, um, Xbox One, or even a PS3, because you can buy the entire collection on PS3, do that. Do not buy it for Switch. You will regret spending that money. And we really need to show Square Enix and all these other companies that are trying to put their games as cloud versions on the Switch instead of creating native ports because all they want is to put their games on the system and not put any effort into the development of those games to create native ports. They just want to get the money out. That's all companies do nowadays is try to get the most amount of money for the least amount of effort. And we need to show them, no. If you are not going to put in the effort to put your game natively on the Switch, and we understand it's going to take downgrades, it's going to take time, we get it. But if you're not going to put in the effort, do not expect us to pay money for this. All right? Thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm already at 69. Nice. And I would love your support. Um, drop it down in the comments. What do you think about this whole situation with the Kingdom Hearts games being horribly ported to the Switch? And I will see you on the next video. Take it easy.